in the uh, dream I had, I saw the uh, the United States, the whole like almost all of North America. Uh, at one time, I was seeing the whole, you know, United States, northern North American area, and um, I saw um, blue. This was all a bluish circle of color um, all around um, Canada and North America. The northern part of, um, of America was all one, um, one single um, group. Um, and then I saw the southern part of the United States kind of um, divided and I saw an orange line um, here below the blue line of people who were um, sort of migrating into the blue, uh, into this blue circle, this blue zone. And I saw that was a period of time and um, that was taking place. And, you know, you can clearly see the difference in the, um, the polit on the political map, you know, it really makes it, makes it clear what this, what this is, um, you know, this, this transformation that's, that maybe it may take place in the future. So I was seeing this as one, this speak, this was almost as if this was one single country in the future. And this, this was a separate um, region where you can see the blue in this region strongly represented in this region and the red more strong, much more strongly represented in the middle and Northern United States. So that you could see the distinction between uh, what's taking place, what, 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 or what, what could take place in the future. Um, and then I saw the, uh, I saw, I kind of saw this inner circle here ring in, in Minnesota and then around Minnesota, Northern Minnesota, I saw, um, the tent of the revelations, the saints of the Lord. I saw the tent begin to form. Um, it was a tent, like a octagonal tent or, um, hexagon or something like that it looked like a tent and um people around it as if they were coming in and in, in, um in droves and worshiping and pray and praying and stuff like that in this somewhere in this region um it wasn't specific but i just kind of saw this as a circular circular sort of area and i started to see uh i saw hebrew names letters hebrew lettering appear all throughout this area or all along the map was in, in bright fiery orange writing and Hebrew letters. I saw the Hebrew letters just forming like m millions and millions and millions of um, Hebrew letters being placed on almost like the ceiling of the saints in, Re in the book of Revelation, the, how they will be uh, marked on their forehead. And, uh, and then I saw the wedding. It was, uh, it was as if the wedding supper of the Lamb was happening after that. And uh, I saw how people were, were migrating into this, this area, trying to get to this, this, this place from this, from these zones out here, out in this outer ring, as if, you know, as if the, the, the world was changing, as if, as if, you know, this, you know, maybe in the future, I don't know, I saw this taking place over time, but you can definitely, we can definitely clearly see the delineation between the population now and how it might look in the future. And, you know, I'm not sure, I don't know about Canada's population, but there could be something like that going on in Canada as well. Uh, I did the difference between sort of, uh, you know, um, more religious, uh, traditional religious people and maybe more liberal people um, over time. You know, that, that, that line may become more distinct instead of the other way, more, um, less, less and less uh, blended over time. But you can clearly see the population difference here um, for sure in, the trans in that transition of people leaving leaving this population the blue population zone into this into this red population zone which and this was a blue ring a blue a blue layer that I saw of, of a circular ring um, and then the names were then the names were appearing the orange names the bright red fiery Hebrew letters I couldn't I didn't know what they were saying it looked like um, I thought of I actually thought of the book of revelations the names given by the um, by, by, by Christ and, and for the uh, the saints in the book of Revelations, how they will be sealed on their forehead. And then I thought of, of course, the 144,000 and the bride of Christ being uh, formed on the earth. Um, 
and then and then I saw you know what looked like a series of conflicts or wars taking place, uh, maybe a country being invaded and things like that. I wasn't sure what was going on. Um, and again, this could be taking place over years and years or or decades. You know, I don't know, but this was just a dream vision that I had, and uh, I saw it almost as if it was almost as if Christ had returned, and this was the place where um, Christ was being recognized, you know, by the, by the Christians in these in these areas, um, in the rest of the world. Uh, I wasn't sure on the what was going on. I didn't see the whole rest of the rest of the world entirely, but I, um, I'm sure similar events going on around the world. Um, and uh, and then I saw myself. I saw the book of life opened up. I saw the book of life, and I saw the names going into the book of life, golden lettering, golden names. And I and it's like I was trying to get into the book of life. I was running and running and running trying to get into the book of life and the book of life was somewhere um uh being opened up in the, in the in the heavenlies but then on the earth sim you know it was almost as if it was something happening on the earth and in the heaven at the same time and that the people the, just like with the bride of christ the people were recognizing that they were part of the bride of christ in this um you know in this future point and then after the after that um I believe I'm not sure but I believe you know maybe the Antichrist rises up maybe maybe you know something happens the Antichrist uh, and then falls from power or dies or whatever and then and then it seemed like after some time after that peace had come through the world and there was no more Antichrist there was no, no more of this um, evil in the world had sort of faded and just been gone and then I saw Christians um, kind of uniting around I saw like people uniting around the world and in this glory and this um, healing of the world taking place and a transformation of the world um, so that's the hope of the book of Revelation that the, it leaves you with the hope of glory uh, in Revelation 22 it says then the healing of the nations will come the tree of life will be um, represented on the earth and, and it says that it, the leaves of the tree of life will bring the healing of all the nations so that's that would be the future that you know might be be coming um, into the world and uh you know, and I believe this 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 will sort of take place. It almost in a, it almost seemed like in a natural sort of way, a you know, way a way in which um, it's almost prophetic in that people could couldn't stop it. People couldn't try to um, prevent it or stop it or 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 um, or force it. It's almost like a kingdom. It's almost like it's just sort of happening in these phases and, and transitional um, points in people's lives. Um, in natural, of course, naturally, I I, I want to see the point where the glory of God is expanding throughout the whole earth, and sin is, is removed from the world, and, and there's peace, there's true peace and lasting peace among all the nations of the world. That that should be the ultimate goal of any um, anyone who believes in, in God and in spirit in the spirit and spirituality, and in the hope of glory, um, would be the. Of course, here's the rivers. I I can clearly see the this this point here was surrounded by the um, river, the Mississippi. Which is the the headwaters of the Mississippi River, and this is this is the um, thing I believe translated as uh, Spirit River, or or could be translated almost as the River of Life. Um, it, the river, the Mississippi River, is the river of life for the United States. So the, the, all the rivers flow from the Mississippi throughout the whole entire uh, United States, across the country, across the United States, in uh, almost a 1,400 mile uh, span uh, of distance, which. Interestingly, as mentioned in the book of Revelations, the river of life flowing across the cube, um, which is a 1400 mile span. Uh, so the, this river literally travels just around 1400 miles across the United States into the Gulf of Mexico. So that's just an interesting um, point, you know, to, to think about in, in, in metaphor and in, in the book of Revelation being partially being metaphorical and representing maybe something in the future that we don't we don't fully understand and see yet but um you know a, a redemption of the world and of the earth that would that would take place um among the saints and then among the nations of the world um so that's the that would be the hope and uh thank you <laughs>